Lots of hunters have been going into the forest primeval looking for deer, and by the time the deer season is all wound down, about 125,000 of those creatures will have been taken and drawn into kitchens. And with us today to talk a little bit about what to do with all that deer is Sally Kepke. She's from Mom's Gourmet. Good to see you. Thank you, you very much too, for coming. You too, Fred. Thanks you for to? having me here. I don't deer hunt. I mm -hmm. do upland game, and, and every now and then I'll go out and duck mm -hmm. hunt. But mm -hmm. uh, I leave the venison to a mine who I'm lucky enough to have provide me with any cut I ask for so well uh, when did you start getting into cooking wild game probably about eight years ago when I, I have retrievers and I train them and I know a lot of folks that hunt and I was fascinated uh, about the preparation of of unusual types of game mm -hmm. So I love to cook, so any good cook likes to experiment a little bit. So Well, this is venison. Is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. A lot of people love it. It's very healthy. I don't think a lot of people realize how lean venison is. Very little fat. So how would you recommend us cooking venison? What is what are those pieces by the well, way? Well, okay, earlier they showed the venison butt roast, which mm -hmm. is the back leg. It's a nice sirloin butt roast that that's um, off the deer. These are loins, so mm -hmm. we're doing two different cuts of venison, and my two favorites. I had this all weekend long. <sighs> Delicious. It's so low in fat. <laughs> it's so healthy. I wish my it's wife amazing. was like that with venison. She hates it. Really? Well, Too you gamey. Have to, you have to tell her it's beef. I'm going to. <laughs> tell her it's beef. This is how I'm going to learn to trick her. I, uh, I was a little hesitant the first time I tried it, but after it's so light, you don't have that heavy feeling, no chemicals. And okay. So all we're going to do, um, very simple preparation here. Here is extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. I always like to get the venison, I wash it in cold, cold water, pat it dry, and then let it sit out to get to room temperature. You really don't want to put cold meat in the oven. It just makes it uncomfortable. So um, <laughs> <laughs> the meat's already, I mean, it's already dead. I don't think you could get much more uncomfortable than that. I know, but it just, it does something to it. So well, the, A lot of people think it's tough meat. In your opinion, oh, do you think it's tough meat? Melton, if, if you overcook it. Yes. I think just so like many anything. people, I, the first time I made a lobster, I, I boiled it for 20 minutes, the tail, and I, it was tough, so I thought, oh, it needs another 20 minutes. You don't want to undercook this. I think you I'm talking to. too much. People just want to learn how to cook yeah. the meat. So Sorry. what you do is you sprinkle a little olive oil on it and just rub it. Rub it right on there. And then what I typically do then is um, I use... This is a, a blend that we developed called Awesome Antler Rub. Pardon the oil, but this is specifically designed for game. And what I do is just shake it on generously. Oh, wow. This is really... Generously? Yes. <laughs> generously. And then I just give it a little rub, rub it in, let it kind of sit on the venison roast. Not Wait both about. sides, just the one side? I just do the one side because okay. venison is delicate. It's a delicate cut of beef or a cut of, of, of venison, of deer, wow, and so you don't awesome. need to overdo it. That's some awesome deer spice. It you is. You name that quite Pop well. Pop it in the oven at 450 for 10 minutes. Okay. Reduce the temperature to 350, and then for a loin of this size, maybe another 10 minutes. You want it medium rare. You don't, you don't want it overcooked. No, no. Medium it's, rare is the perfect, perfect yeah. thing, and so... Just gonna pop that in, and um, I thought maybe we could prepare that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's stuff Wipe my hands there. off. Isn't and there? then how we oh. Okay, so Ooh. this is the butt roast, and so I'm going to just cut this with the grain and just oh, slice it very thin. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, Michael, look at this. It's perfect. Oh, I know. My stomach is rumbling. What type of, I mean, you said you developed that spice, so do you have your own line of spices? Yes, yes. Mom's Gourmet is a line of seasonings my mom and I developed a couple of years ago. Yes, by all means. And we have a little mayo sauce. I the recipe's on the website. Excuse my reach. But yeah. we developed them f for different oh, cuts of meat or purist. food. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. with and without the sauce. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I know. Mm. I got to have a bite. I can still talk about the spices because I can't talk with my mm. mouthful. There are several different blends yeah. and they're mm. sold here locally. We're a local small business and a lot of them are great on any kind of game. I use the red dog on turkey, but I think the awesome antler rub just perfectly complements venison. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How about this? This is great. You can learn more about this by going to www.momsgourmet.com. <laughs> 
dot net, right? <laughs> yes, you did. Or rubyourgrub.com. Mm -hmm. Or that's that. even easier. All right, thank you so, so much for coming grub. on the show. Thanks for having yeah, me, well, Michael. That's okay. <laughs> A little you bit of a We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you very much.